Ghouls and Goblins, welcome to this week's Top 5 Friday. We here just got to celebrate some Halloween action, but today is Dios de Muertos. So we're going to celebrate Day of the Dead in style. So today, today, we are paying our respects to the dead with the Top 5 Undead Characters in Video Games. That works. It makes sense. Five. Starting off with some of my favorite DLC for any game, John Marston from the Undead Nightmare expansion of Red Dead Redemption. After you play through the zombie infested storyline, you can actually play as Zombie John Marston. Now he makes it into this list because I would rather play as Zombie Marston than as his son at the end of the normal game. Plus, riding into town, tying up a bandit and leaving him to his own fate on some railroad tracks, all while the train is headed right in non-stop. And then you hear John moaning the language of the undead. Yeah, that was awesome. Also, side note, I might have a few problems. Four. Now on to number four. Now this is a character that makes my brain argue with that funny feeling in my pants. I'm looking at the nurses from Silent Hill, and let me tell you, I'm looking at the nurses. See, here's the thing. They're kind of hot in this dead, messed up, creepy as hell kind of way. Seriously, I don't get it. I see them and I'm like, hey girl, can I get your number? And my brain is like, no, 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 just no. They're dead and they're ugly. This is messed up. They will kill you. But seriously, undead nurses brings new meaning to that 90s expression. Hello, nurse. Hello, nurse. Seriously, I have some problems. Number three is a guy that saw the ends of the galaxy and beyond when he died in space, all to be brought back to life just to save mankind and every other alien species out there. Commander Shepard is so badass, death can't even stop him. Now, yes, Cerberus spent millions to bring him back to life, and he's pretty much just powered by technology, but hey, still counts. Commander Shepard proves that it's not the parts that make the man, but it's bravery in his own actions and sleeping with alien chicks makes the man. What did the Reapers think they were gonna do? Kill him again? That doesn't stop him, it doesn't work. But trust me, I'd find a way to come back to life. That means I gotta meet Miranda. Let me tell you. Mm, that Miranda ass effect. Mares effect. Two. Number two reminds the world that, hey, everyone deserves a second chance. And I gotta give it to Sir Daniel Fortescue from Medieval. He was the first to die in a giant epic war, but still, he was brought back to life to save the day. Now this is one of those hilarious games that I don't think ever got enough attention, so I'm so glad to see that he was actually put into PlayStation All-Stars. So badass that he's still kicking butt, even past the death of his own game. Seriously, such a funny game. If you guys haven't played it, find a way, download it. It might be on PSN, I don't know, but Medieval, Medieval 2, Go play the game. So Daniel Fortescue, thumbs up. And sorry about the lack of jaw and missing eye and the fact that you're a skeleton. You're still cool though. One. Get over here and let me tell you about number one. That wasn't a bad Macho Man impression. No need to drag this along. Number one, it's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. The MK franchise has so many great storylines, but Scorpions is easily the best. It's a perfect blend of tragic and f***ing badass. His family and himself and his clan are all killed. All this is actually framed on Sub-Zero. So now he's back for revenge and eventually actually kills Sub-Zero. And when he does, he finds out it wasn't even him that did it. So his onslaught of death continues forward. He can't even be confined to the walls of his own game. He makes it over to the DC universe to take out everyone in injustice. You go, Scorpion. You keep on with all the fatalities until you find some inner peace. When that heart inside starts to beat again and you feel happiness, I'm rooting for you. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the top undead characters in video games. Now let me know what you think of my list on Twitter. You can hit me up at the Jovenshire and tell me who you would have put on the list. Till the next time I see you guys, thank you so much for watching. See ya. What's up gamers? It's pretty close to Halloween, so I figure now is a good time to go through the top five best masks in video games. Now we're going to avoid any masks worn by say, comic book characters that happen to appear in video games and stick with actual video game masks on this one. So don't get all mad when I don't include like Batman or something like that. All right, let's jump into it. 